Thank All right, you. Let's, let's move on to our, our next segment here. I would like to introduce um, Emmy Award winning uh, director and SMA associate, Luis Estrada. Yes. Luis worked a couple of jobs uh, for us, actually. Uh, he helped us produce a, 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 a very important video for yes. Vienna. Hey. And, hey, uh, uh, where's your hats, guys? Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. You're right. This is right. Western, day, Western right? day. Gotta have your hats. There we go. Thank you. You know, there you okay. go. <laughs> Thank you, Luis, uh -oh. for joining us. See, this is when you're in a bad mood. This is a good mood. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if okay. you see Jacques walking down the hall and he's like this, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys got your cup of Java. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Right. Indeed. Yes. Well, so, hey, well, right. welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for the invite. It's great this to have is, you. This is a treat. This is a great treat to be here because I just live down the road. All right. And uh, I come by here I, probably at least once a month. Right. Well, you're I'm always welcome to, to stop by and, and say and hi. And you're you. usually not on this side of the camera either. No, I'm not. <laughs> this, is, this, is this, is strange. Yep. <laughs> this is very strange yeah. to be on this side, but but this is great. It's it's a great atmosphere, yeah. great culture. You know, just really happy to be part of well, part of this we're, team. We're Thank great you. to have you. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah absolutely. That's a phenomenal work for us, both uh, internally for some of our company promotional videos, as well as for yeah, clients. Yes. So All what right. do you have for us uh, on Westerns? Well, Westerns, you know, it's a, it's a big genre. I mean, this is, is something uh, that you could debate for years if you wanted to, but, uh, but I figured we'll take a little bit of a slice of it under our, okay. under our mantra of tell a good story, always tell a good story. <laughs> and with Westerns, it's basically the same story we tell over and over again with different characters, different people, uh, and in different ways. Uh, but just want to share a little bit about uh, how, how the Western got started, how important the Western is to actually the mm -hmm. film business. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's, uh, I think we have a, a slide, a slide presentation. presentation. Oh, there you, oh go. there you go. I've got a little, got a little, little bit. bit. Go. 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 Well, I think, well, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think technology guys, 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 guys are fighting today. today. <laughs> well, let's see. Someone's off mute, I think, uh -huh. in the studio here. Ah, I think we fixed it. Okay, it's fixed. fixed? Great, All let's right. go. Let's go let's for it. This. Okay. It's okay. Oh, oh, go here, go here. It's like, 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 like the back. sound of it? I wonder. Is it weird? Let's okay. see. Yes. Probably. Let's see. Put that down. Turn this one down. Where's the down? Because we need the, the engineers. Okay, there Is there an engineer in the house? Okay. Well, that's All good. Right. Okay, let's okay, try this again, again, guys. Try one okay. more time. Take two. Somebody did. Somebody did. There you go. Yeah, see, somebody did the technology guy. That's right. If they didn't get if their, their M&Ms, they're not going to be working. Okay, let's okay, do it. That's, that's the way it works. Anyway, anyway movies, in the, movies Western, in the Western. Right? So let's, right? go, on so let's go on to the next slide. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see. All right. All right. So to get, so in, the mood, to get in the mood, is it just, is a, it just a, a, group, a of group of classic clips, clips uh, from different uh, from movies? Different movies. Uh, it's, out uh, a, it's out of a, a small a Western, small, a Western channel. So why don't we look at this, get in the mood, and then we'll go from there. We got audio. Oh, we got audio problem. Hmm. Hmm. It worked before. It worked in rehearsal. So yeah, anyway. it, it was well, working up until a moment ago. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, let's see. These, let's see these. There we go. There we go. In the face of the thinking. Come on. Who's I but you? There you go. There you that's go. Just that's just kind of a collection of. of um, uh, let's still get a little feedback, but uh, that's a collection of of clips from just classic movies. 
Uh, and one of them, I'll show you mm -hmm. a picture later that I that actually uh, did, have, uh, did a have a chance to work on, work on which Jimmy, Smith. Jimmy Smith's huh. Huh. Marine. Marine. Wow. Marine. Wow. Uh, was, uh, the Cisco kid, kid we did for, for uh, TNT years ago, years ago. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but it was quite fun. We did it in Zacatecas, Mexico. She's going to be a fairly famous Southern California actor. A number of different movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, and anyone's you know TV film career, you got to be in the West somewhere. You always run into. It's always, it's always there. Anyway, the next, anyway, the next slide, slide. Let's see. see. The next slide. There you go. So, uh, many, many people probably don't, don't know this, but the evolution of the business film business and the Western, and the Western go, hand go hand in hand. hand because before, before 1903, 1903 uh, a fellow uh, was working for, for uh, Thomas, Edison, Thomas, Edison, Thomas Edison, Edison. As you guys know, he invented the, the, the projector. The projector. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm -hmm. basically, uh, so basically, what happened is up until that point, you could only go so much with the reel. So the reel was 10, 12 minutes long. That was it. You had to tell your story. That's because they can only make so much film in one shot. I think it was just the actual reel. The actual reel size. What they did is this fellow that was a projectionist actually figured out you can actually, you can actually edit, the edit the film together, together have, a have a new narrative, but also, but also uh, and, if uh, and if you remember in the old days, in the old days not, not so old days, days but, uh, you, uh, actually, you actually, in the movie theater, theater you, were you were bouncing between two projectors, two projectors mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And there was that little circle of the right. that right. worked yep. for. Yep. And so, and so because, of that, because of that, that you were able to tell a longer narrative, you know, to make an hour, two hours, those kinds of things. So that's the first film was a Western that was done that. So if we go to the next slide. Um, um, it'll tell you, it'll a, tell you bit. a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Here comes, comes the next slide. Um, um, the great train, great train robbery, robbery as, we, as we go. go. Oh, well, oh, before, before, we, go before that, we go to that, before that, before that the Western, the Western genre, genre, again, just repeating what we were saying, what we're saying is, is that basically this is what established, is what established the, 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 genre the genre of the Western. Of the Western. That, that innovation in technology, you know, if you call it technology and making it kind of a business, that's what made it, you know, basically became a genre. So it's the Westerns that actually made um, film entertainment into a business. Yes. Com commercialized yes. it. And oh. the first one was the Great Train uh -huh. Robbery. Let's go to uh, that slide. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, sorry. We'll just keep, we just, okay. Uh, so also one thing as far as diversity was kind of, I thought I'd mm -hmm. put this in because it was really important back then that most of the Westerns, as probably mo most of movies back then right. was really about white males, right? It was the white male. He was the hero. Mm -hmm. He was sort of, you know, the lone wolf out there going after social justice and, right. you know, and, and shooting up the bad guys. There was a scene there where you see, you know, the lone ranger hopping on his white horse. So that was kind of the image, right? The, the romanticism of that mm -hmm. character. Uh, but within that, you had characters in, that are Mexican and Indian and everybody had their role That's to right. play. But um, but Katie Jurado, who was a me Mexican actress, it was uh, a really when she started to appear in these, she appeared like in High Noon, mm -hmm. these different uh, and different films. She really brought something else to it. She, you're absolutely right. You know, her yeah. stage presence. Yeah. I mean, she she actually captured the scene. You know, her yeah. stage presence was incredible. And, be and because of that, it gave a lot of credibility to uh, to that actress, to those roles as well. Absolutely. And and her being a Mexican actress really, really gave uh, Latin Americans, because then later on you saw Ricardo Montalban, you saw right. these other uh, uh, Mexican or Latino actors that came right. through as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times they were actually in good roles. They didn't always right. play, you know, the, the, the bad guys. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Uh, let's see, the next slide. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Great Train Robbery. Robert. We'll talk about a little bit that, but also arguably... <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about Unforgiven and why these two are together is because the Great Train Robbery in itself, you know, being the first real Western and creating the genre, if you will. And then Unforgiven, which arguably, and I know arguably because we argue about it earlier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best, uh, the best uh, Western that, Clint, you know, the best Western ever made, uh, according to a lot of people, because it really kind of broke the general genre. Right. Of, of most of the mm -hmm. Western. So if we go to the next uh, slide, this will give you some detail. Again, what we're talking about, right? This created, uh, created establishing the movie business as a commercial business, commercial medium. And it was the first one that actually had a very long narrative. And that's why it, uh, it created Got that it. genre. Hmm. As opposed to the 10, yeah, 10, 10 minutes, minutes. Yeah, yeah, you know, kind of thing. Also, the because of the editing as well. So you can go back and mm. forth. All right. The next slide is what we talked about is, uh, again, just saying, you know, all of the stereotypes and the mythology of mm -hmm. the Westerns that came before it. 
basically Unforgiven broke that. And I'm sure it was very personal to Clint Eastwood having been part of that. Yep. And so when he did this, uh, it not only created a wonderful film, uh, Oscar winning film, um, but it kind of broke that mold, hmm. right? So a lot of people, because of that, say, hey, this is the best one. Uh, there's a lot of Westerns made every year. Uh, and, you know, some work, some don't. Some oh. make money, most don't. But <laughs> they keep making them, so they must <laughs> right. make it them. So uh, the next slide, please. Um, locations is very important mm -hmm. for the Western, of course. And so one of the things that happened is studios started buying up land north of uh, Los Angeles, Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. you know, the Warner uh, Ranch up there, so they can make these films. It saves them right. a lot more mm -hmm. money. You don't have to travel to Arizona right. or anywhere like that. And if you know the landscape in, in California, yeah. Yeah. it mm -hmm. lends itself easily. So to obviously that. the unions back then were actually more effective than the federal government in, in establishing a 35 <laughs> mile limit instead of 50 miles that the federal <laughs> government uses. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the union. Yeah, you know, yeah. We must be getting another batch of Westerns because uh, the Warner Ranch just got sold and it's going to oh. be, I think, going to put several yeah. billion dollars into cool. refurbishing. Oh, it. excellent. Yeah, yeah. Cool. that's that's cool. good news. So we'll see more yeah. of that. Uh, the next one, the only guys that really didn't do this, the next slide tells you, uh -huh. as you probably already know, is the uh, spaghetti Western. Yes. What they did is the Spaniards and the Italians, mm -hmm. which again have similar landscapes yeah. in their countries, said, hey, we're going to take these out of work you know, cowboys, and among them was Clint Eastwood mm. and Henry Fonda and those folks. If you know anything about the movie business, actors don't work that much. Right. And so uh, back then, these were a lot of them like Clint Eastwood, you know, they were, you know, TV, mm -hmm. Rawhide, all these different things, and they were out of work. So the Italians said, hey, let's take these movie mm. stars <laughs> or TV stars and then put them in our movies. And they did that and it became very successful, uh, a very successful franchise for them. And, you know, there was a trilogy that we saw a little bit, you know, the dollars trilogy mm -hmm. for a few dollars more, right. you know, all these, so, and, and, and basically made Clint Eastwood a star and brought him back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what you're going to see, we're going to talk a little bit later, how he took that and capitalized mm -hmm. on it mm. and, and, you know, took those characters and, you know, uh, made it into a different uh, genre. All right. The next one. Uh, and of course, we couldn't talk about Westerns without TVs. If you turn on right now any TV station, especially these secondary ones, uh -huh. digital ones, a lot of Westerns. Right. And there's full channels that are just running Westerns, TV Westerns, movie Westerns. A lot of these are also in the public domain, so they all run oh, them for free. Right. Yeah, grew oh, up on Maverick yeah. and uh, Bonanza. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> Lone Ranger and yeah. uh, the Cisco yeah. Kid. Yeah, and if you notice, the same the same story, right? It's the same story. It's good versus evil. It's, yeah. you know, we're the good guys or the bad guys, yeah. you know, those kinds. So the story is intact and keeps keeps going. Though also again, to you know, there was a lot of uh, mm -hmm. strong women that came out Absolutely. too. If you remember, uh, even in Bonanza or you know uh, uh, the, the the Big Valley, right? Yeah, right. Kitty, right? He had all these folks that that uh, that really had strong women in them. The mm -hmm. next slide, please. So one of the things that happened with actors is two people really did this very successfully. We'll talk about uh, the other, but. Uh, uh, James Garner really took his character from Maverick. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when he was at Universal, basically the pitch was, we're going to do Maverick, but we're going to put him as a detective in L.A. And it was a <laughs> Rockford Files. And if you ever see an interview with James Garner, he basically kind of chuckles and said, it's the same guy. <laughs> you know, Maverick is Rockford and Rockford is Ma Maverick. And and if you uh, listen to a lot, he had a lot of say in the scripts. And if you mm -hmm. listen, uh, the scripts were very well written. I mean, you had people like uh, Stephen Cannell writing, mm -hmm. you had, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, David Chase, all these people writing during that time, they were younger writers. And you could tell the the amount of uh, of influence that that the uh, uh, that it had all right. of the Western themes and the the, uh, you know, what what they're uh, what do you call it? the the. Uh, Ah, no, my words are going. Well, the moral dilemma. The moral dilemma, dilemma, dilemma right. 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 Same in both Maverick and exactly. Robert Pelt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it. See? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't have enough coffee. Yeah. One of the differences was he had one horse in Maverick, and he had probably uh, you know four hundred horses under the hood. In, uh, ah, all right. All right. Y'all yeah. helping him out too. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually had a fire group because I like that car. Ah, yeah. cool. And you. And by yeah. the way, just as a side note, he did all of his stunts. Yeah. He actually was trained huh. uh, yeah. driver, yeah. so he did all the stunts. So when you see that Firebird bouncing. Mm -hmm around and that's him driving yeah, wow. okay the next one okay and it's clint and clint okay i always remember when <laughs> there was a line in get shorty where he says oh you know uh that's who was it uh you know uh, john wayne plays mm -hmm. john wayne yeah you know and so clint <laughs> kind of plays clint but he was very successful in taking his experience and his character from the western 
right? Mm -hmm. And he transferred over into Dirty Harry. Hmm. And I want to show you two clips, right? So the two clips are, you're going to see uh, Clint Eastwood in A Fistful of Dollars, Mm -hmm. and you're going to see the clip. And you just kind of enjoy the clip. You know, it's a couple of, it's about 90 seconds long. long, And then we're we're going to watch Dirty Harry and see the similarity. So go ahead and roll roll this clip. clip. Get three coffins ready. Uh Huh? Adios, amigo. Listen, stranger. Did you get the idea? We don't like to see bad boys like you in town. You see, I understand you men were just playing around. But the muley just doesn't get it. Of course, if you were to all apologize... I don't think it's nice you laughing. You see, my mule don't like people laughing. It's the crazy idea you're laughing at him. Now, if you apologize like I know you're going to, I might convince him that you really didn't mean it. I don't know if you missed it in the beginning when you started, but basically asked for three coffins. Right. So, oop, my mistake right. is four, right? <laughs> uh, so there's that sense of humor that you yeah. see that comes across. So yeah. if we watch the next clip, uh, you'll see a little bit, uh, well, a lot of that character in mm-hmm. the Dirty Harry character. So let's run, so let's run that. truth and all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, Bunk? To Clint Eastwood, and you, but you can see the similarities in the yeah, character. Absolutely, right? yeah. I mean, the slow walk, you know, the way it's put together. Of course, he directed a lot yeah. of these as well. Now, I think you've you recently know. directed a Western as well, right? Um, it, kind of. It's yeah. like, it wasn't supposed to be a Western, Western, but it kind of turned out to be well, uh-huh. because of where it was. But if we go to the next slide real quick, um, and we're coming up on the hour, uh, this just 
Hollywood right. continues to want to make cowboy mm-hmm. movies, oh, yeah. and they did Cowboys and Aliens. Mm-hmm. This thing cost about one hundred and sixty-five million dollars. It did one hundred and seventy thousand. Yep, one hundred and seventy million. That franchise has been incredible. And so it just keeps going, it's, and they keep wanting to do more. It's so. a little bit of an odd movie. <laughs> it is. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it, but but it's every yeah. year, whether you know yeah. it or not, independence people are making westerns, mm-hmm. uh, and, it, and and it's unfortunate, but they don't really make a whole lot of money. But it's again the same story. Go to the next slide, please. And um, this is just a 13 second clip. Uh-huh. It's classic. It goes back to the beginning of the of, of the uh, show today. Uh, let's just run that clip real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, oh. whistles and wolf mm-hmm. and those kinds of yeah. things to create the mood uh next slide and um all this to let's see the next slide uh, uh, but it really but it is really to is always, to tell, always a tell a great story, story. right right at the at, at the, the end of at the end of it all uh not only you can see the power of the detail mm-hmm. and the good story and that's what translate over to our clients as well is to make sure that we tell our story yeah for them right you know whatever that may be because obviously they're always telling the story right so we got to tell it in a new different way sounds like a proposal there you go (laughs) and then um yeah and then next slide and just uh thank you guys for listening us lee van cleef you Mm -hmm. know who uh who started a lot of the spaghetti westerns do you have a slide on on the the movie you just yeah so let me show that yeah yeah, let's go to the next slide Yeah, so there we go. Okay, this is a movie right. that I produced uh-huh. and directed and co-wrote. Uh-huh. One night in Mexico, we did it in English and Spanish. Yeah. Say so the story was really about something else, but it turned out to have a Western feel. <laughs> Una noche en Mexico. <laughs> Una noche. If we go to the next one, you see kind uh-huh. of a funny picture with one of the characters <laughs> that he was there. And then, uh, like I say, you kind of have to go through a Western phase. Right. We go to the next one. Back in the earlier days. You know, I, I worked on Cisco Kid and uh, the uh-huh. Wild West show uh, of the stars on CBS back in the 80s, uh, starting off the career. Hmm. So so the Westerns are a theme in, in every producer's career. Fantastic. All right. yeah. Thank Except you. Perhaps so you. We yes. are very Thank lucky you to have you. As Ben yeah. Acewood uh, said, do you feel lucky? We definitely feel lucky. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Louise. And thank you to the audience for 